DAG is nothing but directed acyclic graph. Directed acyclic graph. Now, what what is the what is directed acyclic graph? So, whatever problem or whatever algorithm we have seen so far, right? Last week and the previous week, right? And previous, I mean, last to previous week, previous to last week, right? As well as today, all the problems we have solved are on undirected graph. I think only I have given you an idea about how to solve DFS and BFS on directed graph, correct? Else, did we solve any other problem with directed graph? No, right? So, what is DAG? DAG is nothing but directed acyclic graph. So, if I, if I, you know, uh, if I draw a graph like this, basically, one to two, three to four, mm, then we can may have seven, eight. five, then six, suppose. Now, if you see, is this acyclic or this is cyclic? What do you, what, what do you, you know, what do you see here? Is it cyclic or acyclic? What is the it difference? Cyclic. It's, it's cyclic, right? It's or cyclic. cyclic. Yeah. Why it's a cyclic? Uh, cycle is not there. The it is not forming a cycle. Okay. Okay. What do you, what others think? Is it cycle or acyclic? A cyclic, not cycle. No, no. That I got. I mean, I'm okay. just asking others. What what others say? Is it cyclic or acyclic? A cycle. A cycle. A cyclic. Why? Because this is not forming a cycle. Now, if I say that. Suppose if I if I just extend this graph, uh, nine. We don't have nine, right? Okay. Ten. And then, uh, suppose I have here, uh, one more node eleven. Then then is it a acyclic or cyclic now? Yes, this is a cyclic. It's a cyclic now. Okay. Okay. Let's just understand the acyclic first. Why it is acyclic and why it is not cyclic. Why it is not cyclic. It's forming a closed boundary, right? But still it is acyclic. What is a cycle? Cycle is, if you see, this is our cycle. We call this as cycle. Why? So suppose we can run it in this way. Suppose if I, this is my starting point. Right. This is my starting point. And if I run, we all know about circle, right? So it's a circular track for, you know, just think about a circular track where you are running. Okay. So you will form a cycle. You will form a cycle. So from where you start, if you return back to the same point, then you can form a cycle. Now, if I start from here, three, suppose, can you return back to three? Can you return back to three? No. If I start from four, can you return back to four? No. If I start from eight, can you return back to eight? No. If I start from seven, can you return back to seven? No. So it is not on the same path. It is not on the same path. They are falling on two different path that is that means they are acyclic so on first observation you may find that this is a cycle no this is not a cycle it may find or it may form a close boundary or a, a close boundary but it is not a cyclic so there are two paths in it 
one path and this is another path correct there are two different paths they are not on the same path now what do i mean by same path this is same path they are on the same path start from 9 can if i start from 9 i will return back to 9 whatever it may be this is circle if i start from 10 i will return back to 10 if i start from 11 i will return back to 11 right so this is cycle and this is a uh, cyclic now acyclic acyclic just that just doesn't mean that only this one this is also acyclic these are also acyclic okay i have a graph that goes like this uh, suppose it goes like this i have another graph that goes like this i mean another node this is also a cyclic where a graph a directed graph basically a directed graph which has no cycle that is a directed acyclic graph got it that is a directed acyclic graph now tell me is this a directed acyclic graph what do you think is it a directed acyclic graph no okay why it is forming a cycle in itself it is called self loop right so we have a self loop here that means it is forming a loop here loop is nothing but a cycle so directed acyclic graph is nothing but which where we have directed edges a graph which has directed edges and is not forming a cycle that is a dad now my question is if i ask you if i ask you if i give you an algorithm detect a cycle in DAG. It's a very, very important algorithm. Remember, it's a very, very important algorithm. There are few problems on DAG which are very, very important. Okay. So, detect a cycle using DAG. We are going to use DFS. Why? I will tell you. I am going to show you this problem using DFS. To solve it using DFS, I need to tell you or uh, you know, we are, we have to cover one algorithm called Khan's algorithm. We'll cover it today itself after this. Khan's algorithm, Khan's algorithm is nothing but the core concept. Khan, Khan's algorithm is actually based on the core concept of. Have you heard about topological sorting? So just give me a second, I'm getting one call. Just give me a second. Sorry, yeah. So uh, topological sorting is actually based on, topological sorting means I can apply topological sorting only on DAG. Remember that you cannot apply always so there is a myth that topological sorting is a sorting on graph yeah definitely it's a sorting on graph but remember it's not on every graph you cannot apply topological sorting on bipartite graph you cannot apply topological sorting on any cyclic graph topological sorting is only applied to dag remember directed a cyclic graph i will tell you the reason why okay it's very easy okay we'll see those today now how to determine a cycle in a dag we'll take the same example the example that i have taken here okay tell me 
okay so we know <clears throat> we have already learned how to detect a cycle in an undirected graph can anyone help me with that how we had, how we actually found out the cycle between cycle in an undirected graph you remember right how to determine a cycle in an undirected graph what was the what was the idea what was the idea to find out a cycle between an undirected graph if you visit a node again and if it is not apparent then it's perfect. perfect so we are going to see if if i am going to get a neighbor node if i am going to get a neighbor node as visited and if this node is not happens to be my parent node okay so suppose i am here right now suppose so this is undirected graph i have this node is visited this node is visited right now this node suppose this node has has visited this node and this node both now you are standing on this node you came from this node to this node you are standing on this node you are checking you are checking who all are the neighbors of this node you will get this node and this node now we will check is this node visited yes this node is visited okay but i will not consider it for cycle why because this is my parent node as i have came from this node that means it should be visited so i will not consider it for cycle then i will look for other neighbor nodes is this node visited yes this node is visited now this guy will think i have not visited this node then who has visited this node that means someone else someone else who falls on the same path someone else who falls on the same path has visited this node and after that i will check is this node a parent node no this is not a parent node that means that means if a node if i find a neighbor node which is already visited and is not my parent that means i have a cycle here now can i apply this concept in directed acyclic graph what do you think can i apply the concept in directed acyclic graph let's see it's very interesting so 3 to sorry 3 to 4 7 8 5 6 okay Five and six. Okay. So now, can I apply the same concept on DAG? Let's see. Try to understand. I will start my DFS from one, right? And I will take my parent with me always. I am doing DFS. Simple. I am doing DFS. So in case of DFS also, in case of DFS also, what we maintain? We maintain a visited array okay let's take a visited array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so nine nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 perfect so first i will mark everything as zero Okay, I am starting with one DFS of one comma minus one. Why comma why minus one? Because one has no parent. I am starting from here. I am starting from here. One has no parent, so that means I have. That's why I, that's what I am taking minus one. You can take any other. You can take zero as well because zero is also not present. It doesn't matter whatever you want to take. Okay, cool. I want as I have called DFS one. i will mark one as visited i will mark one as visited so one is visited 
from one where can i go i can go to two okay go to two no problem who is the parent of two it is one take one along with you okay now from two where can you go now it's a directed graph remember it's not an undirected graph so the adjacency list will be easy so from two if it was undirected i can go in both the ways two to one and then two to three but as it is directed i already have the direction where i will go right so i will go from two to three okay let's go to two to three and okay so when i called for two two i my will mark it as one because i have visited now from two i have called for three and who is the parent of three it is two perfect and i will mark it as visited fine now from three now if you see this is the problem now standing at three i can go in two different directions let's let's first go to four dfs of four who is the parent three and i can go to from here dfs of seven and who is the parent it is three okay now i will mark as i have called dfs of four i will mark four as visited done done okay from four where i can go i can go to eight okay go to eight who is the parent four is the parent okay no problem from eight where can i go i can go to five okay go to five let me remove this not required okay cool go to five who is the parent eight is the parent okay no problem so i will mark first eight as visited and then i have called for five so i will mark Five as visited, all right? Now standing at five, can I go anywhere else? Can I go anywhere else? No, I can't go. Did I get a cycle? Remember that. That's how we have done that, right? Did I get a cycle? I came along this way. One, two, three, four, eight, five. this is my way that i have traversed as of now correct did i get a cycle no return false so as i have no place to go i will return to my parent i will return to my parent and what i will return i will return false i have not got a cycle okay so this will say you have not got a cycle that means i have also not got a cycle okay return false this will say you have not got a cycle that means i have also not got a cycle return false now do i have any other place to go yes you have go to 7 okay i will go to 7 now i will mark 7 as visited do i have from 7 where can i go i can go to dfs of 8 and who is the parent 7 now tell me the problem will arrived at this function call Shall I call this call? Shall I call for this node eight? Shall I call for this node eight? Remember whatever we have learned to detect a cycle in undirected graph. That's that's what the same algorithm we are applying on directed graph, and we are going to see if this is going to work or not. See, from seven, standing at seven, I will check who is my neighbor. My neighbor is eight. Okay. can i go to 8 no how can you go how can you go because your 8 is visited now the question is who has visited 8 7 has not visited 8 7 has not visited 8 then there is someone else on the path who has visited 8 correct that is what the concept is right there is someone else on the same path there is someone else on the same path who has visited 8 correct and is 8 my parent no 8 is not the parent of 7 parent of 7 is 
that means i have got a cycle that means i have got a cycle right as per the current logic i have got a cycle isn't it i have got a cycle but is it true is it true is it a cycle yes or no it's not a cycle but if we apply the same concept of undirected graph to detect a cycle we are not going to get the correct answer correct because this is a directed graph in directed graph things are different we are not going to so that's what that's why i first applied whatever we have learned of for undirected graph but it is not going to work because in undirected graph the assumption was if i have an age from u to v that means i have an age from v to u as well that is undirected graph but in case of directed graph if i say i have an age from u to v that means i have only one age that goes from u to v not from v to u okay so as per the current logic of undirected graph to detect a cycle this is a cycle but it is not actually a cycle why because this four who has visited this eight four has visited this eight now is four falling on the same path of seven no four is not falling on the same path of seven four falls on this path and seven falls on this path are they same no there are two different path that is why it is not a cycle then how come we are going to find out a cycle in directed graph